Hey Goofballs, and welcome to episode 478 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we did some fishing with the help of an AI. The AI didn't really actually help that much, it mainly made things, like, harder. And in this episode, well, I had plans for this episode, but something happened in between this episode and the last episode, and they are way too important to to con to still do them and do the things I had planned. So this episode, everything that was planned for this episode has been delayed to the next episode. And I'm going to tell you what the more important thing is after we get our island-wide brofini from Isabel. And I will get my island-wide brofini from Isabel after these messages. This mansion is scary. Oh no, oh no. Ah. Oh no, I dropped my phone. Yeah, I hate this. Even the dead love Jack's Junction. Jack's Junction, committed to the well since Bentley, Bentley. Hello, Isabel. Good evening, everyone! Right now on Jack Town, it's 8-11 p.m. on Friday, June 23rd, 2023. It is. Oh! Someone recently asked me for advice, and I thought it would be a good idea to share it with everyone. They wanted to know what to do if they ever found someone passed out on the beach. If that happens, speak to them to make sure they're okay. Do it several times if necessary. Be persistent. Then offer to help with anything they need. We all must do our part to keep this island safe. Yes, indeed. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Man. Just a little bit of a warning. I might get a bit emotional this episode. Probably not, but I, I could... Just a bit of a warning, but before anything, I have some presents in my pockets, and the reason I have some presents in my pockets is because I haven't played as my main account in between... I haven't played as my main account on the channel since my birthday special, and off-screen, I got I my the two villagers who didn't give me any birthday presents on my birthday special gave me presents, so I thought, may as well open them. On, on, on camera. Anyway, we got... Earth Day Shades. Mm -hmm. And we got... Birthday Candles. Anyway, so... I will not be reading... The mail today. Because some of the... Mail... Has to do with... The... The... Thing we're doing in the next episode. So... May as well just save it for the next episode. All except for one piece of mail. Let's read it. Congratulations, Jack! On behalf of all of us here at Jolly Red's Treasure Troller, I'd like to thank you for your wise and, if I may add, final purchase of a proper painting. No refunds. Red, owner and president. Why don't we take this piece of artwork out? of the mail. There we go, we got the proper painting. Now, how about we take a nice little trip to, to, to the museum. Walking in the door. And it is nighttime, so Blathers is already awake. Hello, Blathers. How are you doing? <laughs> Good evening, Jack. Uh. Welcome to the Jack Town Museum. How may I be of service? I would like to make a donation. Marvelous! What would you like to donate? I would like to know to donate this proper painting. Hmm, who? I say hoot! That is most surely a proper painting. It is indeed. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is! Very much a proper painting. Proper painting, one of the only paintings that does not have any fake articles. Procure the proper painting promptly. 
Promise. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honor. Indeed. I shall also leave details about your donation roll to read once it is on display, and I will stand over your shoulder and read it to you when you first go to observe it. Okay. Very sneakily. Whoo! Please do check back later. I will. Hoot! Hooray! Huzzah! I say it again! Huzzah! This time in capital letters! My goal! Our goal! We have finally done it! We have. We've searched far and wide, high and low, and our collections are, at last, complete for the first time ever. I dare say there isn't a finer assembly of scientific, cultural, and artistic specimens in the world, and in fact in the multiverse, including all of the other different versions of Animal Crossing. Yeah. And it is all thanks to the generosity of upstanding donors such as yourself, and by such as yourself, I mean only yourself. Yes. You grew our humble institute into the magnificent marvel it is today with your very own labor. You have my deepest, most profound gratitude. Thank you for your commitment to excellence. My feathers, I find I'm nearly speechless at the wonder of it all. No, that never happens. I'll be mailing out the poster for our latest completed collection soon. Yes. To think we've completed every one of our collections. I never dared to dream of such a day. Mm. I hope you continue to visit us. You've been truly instrumental in growing our museum. Thank you. No problem. Have a nice day. And there we go. That is... Every single thing in the museum donated. The museum has always been my favorite part of Animal Crossing. I love how I can catch something and then just be able to see it displayed. It's always been my favorite part of Animal Crossing, and I have never completed a museum in Animal Crossing. I can't believe I actually have completed one. Anyway, without further ado, why don't we go on a grand tour of the entire museum? Let's start off with the a dinosaur exhibit. All right, we have the trilobite. The you know I'm not gonna try with these. I'm not gonna try no, no, with Milocris. these. Thank you, Blathers. Milokun Ninja. Wow, thank you. Dunkleosteus. Yes, indeed. Euthenopteron. Oh, yes, I remember them well. Ammonite. Ammonite and Amber. I can read that one. Amber. Right. Uh, Acanthostica. Yes, 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 yes. And Shark Tooth Pattern. And as you can see, not only are there, uh, the things we donated, but there are also some other things, like a statue of a tarantula, of a mitten crab, and a squid. And down here, a jellyfish, some rocks, I think, some prehistoric grapes, some mushrooms, a prehistoric cucumber, and some weed weeds. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, anyway. Now, let's go into the room with the dinosaur. Oh, hello, Clyde. I see you're wearing some of my merchandise. Huh? It's been a while since we've talked, I think. Huh? I've been having a lot of weird dreams lately. Mm, Maybe you have. my jar of French toast finally went bad. Don't know why I keep it in a warm, damp place. Anyway... In my dreams, we talked every night. Sometimes you had two heads, so I'm betting that real... Uh, so I'm betting that right now is real. Yeah. You it feels like a dream, though. That line. It feels... Don't worry, I won't, I won't cut that out. I won't... We already talked while I was talking, so... There's no way of me cutting out 
cutting it out now. So we have the O P H T H A L M O. Thalamosaurus. Thank you, Blathers. <laughs> Plesiosaurus. Good club. And Archelon. I don't. I. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I say Archelon. Ketoquadless and Pteranodon. And we have Stegosaurus. Ankylosaurus, Iguanodon, Parasaurolophus, Pachycephalosaurus, Triceratops, and we have Spinosaurus, Corporalite, Dinosaur Track, T Rex. Over here we have the Deinonychus. Deinonychus and the Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx. <laughs> Thank you, Blathers. I trouble with these two. Clip claw. Demetrodon and Jeremiah. Not to be confused with the bullfrog. And there are thousands of species and creatures dying. Millions, probably, actually. And oh, it's kind of a bummer. Yeah, up there we have the meteor that is about to kill everyone. And we have the Diplodocus. I like the Coprolite. And the Bronchios Bronchiosaurus. And if we go up here, we can see some more cool things. Like, like this. me. Yeah. Hi, Gonzo. Hello. <laughs> How you doing there? Hey, Not look, you're bad. good you're... to see you. Oh, I was almost right where I go. Hey yeah. there, hero. Been a spell and a half since we spoke, I reckon. Yeah. That went on purpose, were it? Even an old cuss like me's not made of stone. It's hurtful. Anyway, good to see you. Good to see you too. Anyway, Gonzo may not be in his place. But I will gladly go in my place. Isn't it weird that the human is the only one that doesn't have an outline? Like, it's expecting... It's expecting me. Like, I'm the only human on this island. What? You're a human? I thought you were a frog all this time. I'm a human. Oh my goodness, we've had a human on this island the whole time? No, no, you're a bunny. I'm looking at your shirt. You're not sure. Whatever. But why, why, like, why isn't there a human one? Like, like, the animals are just as welcome to go into their spots as I am to welcome to go in my spot, but... I'm saying, why are they singling out the human? I think they figure you would know your place. Yeah, and I guess they don't. The animals don't know. They don't Mammoth. Know well, that's rude. Sabertooth tiger. Do we have the megacrops and the megalosaurus? I don't know. I really it's don't. It's close enough. And the Australopith. Australopus. No, I always used to talk about that on Friend. Australopithecus. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, but we're in, going on to the next exhibit. Actually, how about we stop to have a nice little coffee break? And if you go up here, you can see all of the creatures in a better angle. Well, maybe not a better angle, but a different angle. An angle? It is certainly an angle. It is certainly the angle of all time. Anyway. Let's go have a coffee break. Up there at the better angles of our nature. Yeah. Let's have some coffee. Shall we? 
And what do you know? It's Diva. Hello, Diva. There's magic in that moment between grabbing your coffee and taking that first sip. I'm such a sucker for it. For me, it's like anticipation and meditation masked together. Fish party! That's very nice, Diva. Hello, Thank Brewster. You. What's happening to you today? You have some coffee? It's 200 bells a cup. Absolutely. Do I recall, you didn't like your coffee on the cooler side. Mm. Sound about right? What, your coffee at lower temperature? Cooler, please. If that's how you want it, I'll make yours at lower temperature. Thank you. Some like it hot. Doesn't look like you changed anything. You just took the coffee that you already had there. That is under the same fire. But thank you nonetheless. I made this so that even the most sensitive mouth could drink it without any delay. Here you are. Okay. Coffee time. Ah. Hmm. It goes down nice and mellow when it's cooled a bit. Hmm. Isn't this nice? Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, hello, Isabel. I see you're here for a coffee break, too. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Nook and I have been taking turns to get coffee ever since the roost opened. We can't get enough. <laughs> More of this and you're going to get addicted. Oh, you I'm absolutely addicted already. You don't want to end up like my mom. Enjoy your coffee. You saw me when I got the coffee. I wagged my tail. Yeah. Ah. Bye, Brewster. Bye, Diva. Bye, Jack. And if you look at this wall, you can see pictures of Ruth's past. There's the one from City Folk. There's the one from New Leaf. I have no idea. That, that's not from any of them. <laughs> that's just... That's from our grand opening here. Here at the museum. It looks like it's in the city. Well, we uh, traveled to the city. For a lovely party. You, tra you traveled to the, to the city to celebrate the grand opening yes. here. Through time. We traveled through time into city folk. And into a different multiverse. Okay. Different parts of the multiverse. Now let's take a look at some bugs. These ones should have easier names to pronounce. We have the brown cicada. The giant cicada. I don't know why I have them. And the robust cicada. Too bad it is too bad it is daytime, otherwise we could hear them make some noise. Horrifying. We have the evening cicada, the cicada shell, and the walker cicada. The cicada shell is the only one that will not be making any noise. We have the diving beetle, the giant water bug, and the pond skater. There are also some fish in this pond. Some killifish and some carp. If we go up here, we can also see that there is a betta in the water. And there are also some koi in the water too. You better believe it. Ho 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 ho. Yeah, sorry. And over here we have the man-faced stink bug, and the honeybee, and the tiger beetle. If it were daytime, the tiger beetle would be running around the floor. And over here we have the mantis, which seems a bit frightened to see me. Also the stink bug, and the rainbow stag. And one of the butterflies has perched on that tree. We also have some fireflies. There are a ton of fireflies falling. Fl <coughs> there are a ton of fireflies flying around. And we also have the violin beetle, the horned elephant, and the goliath beetle. As you can see, the horned elephant isn't currently around. We also have the horned atlas, the horned Hercules, the giraffe stag, 
and the Cyclometus Dag. Some of them are not here. They are somewhere else. And this is one of my favorite spots in the, in the museum. You know why? Because I get to sit in the mud. Sitting in the mud is one of the most life-changing experiences in this game. And it makes it, it, it feel, the mud feels extra good knowing that the museum is complete. And if you get a certain camera angle here, you can see that there is a butterfly actually perched here during the night. I'm so proud I figured that out. <laughs> you know what you should call that place where you sit down in the mud? Where? The Wallow Hollow. Okay, Wallow sure. Down. Banded Dragonfly, Damselfly, Red Dragonfly, and Darner Dragonfly. Oh, I like that Darner Dragonfly. The Darner Dragonfly is very, very uh, important to the King of Fun. After all, he is a Darner Dragonfly. That's right. I'm not in captivity, though. I'm still in the wild. Anyway, here we can see the beetles fighting. There are the horned elephant, the cyclometus stag, and the horned Hercules that were missing from the trees. I think they're fighting over Yoko Ono. Really? Yeah. That's what I heard, anyway. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, we can also see the... Uh, horned, uh, the, what is that called? Like, the horned dynastid that just flew away. Oh, yeah. And also bad. the saw stag and the Miami stag are also up there. Over here we can see a spider. It's the staggiest area. Yeah. And down here we have the atlas moth and the golden stag. Over here we have the Blue Weevil Beetle and the Scarab Beetle. If I ever get lost, I always just ask an Atlas Moth. They usually seem to know where they're going. Over here we have the first bug I ever caught. The Ooh. Bagworm. Caught it on day one, but donated it three days later because the museum was only open three days later. We also have the Wasp and the Earthborn Dung Beetle. Wait a minute. How do, wait a minute. Look at the donation dates on the Wasp. March 21st? Yeah, now look at the bagworm. Uh, March 23rd. How did that happen? Well, some of them you can, like, you need a certain amount of donations to get the museum open. I just didn't, the ba oh, I just I didn't have, I didn't choose the bagworm as one of those. I gotcha. <sighs> right, here we have the uh, drone beetle and the horn dynastid that was previously ruthlessly pushed off the tree and the great purple emperor you know and if Blathers was a bug he would be a drone beetle I heard that how dare you sir how dare you okay we have the saw stag and the Miami stag that were both on the tree and we have the jewel beetle the Rosalia Batassi beetle, and the Citrus Longhorn beetle, and the Giant Stag. And that is room one of the bug exhibit done. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, if you use the first-person camera, you can get a very, very cool view of the entire museum. You can even see that Agrius butterfly I was talking about earlier. It's a very, very cool shot of all the bugs. You can even see that some of the bugs have learned the ability to float. Very, very interesting. Anyway, now let's go into the butterfly room. It is significantly smaller than the room we were just in, but it is still very interesting. Most of the butterflies are not active because it is nighttime. If we look in the pond, we can see a koi and a frog. And for butterflies, we have the Madagascan sunset moth. It may not be a butterfly, but it sure as heck acts like one. We have a monarch butterfly and a Roger Brooks birdwing. Over here, we have the peacock butterfly being very poorly obs obscured by my hat. And the tiger butterfly 
and also the Queen Alexandra's bird wing. I'm actually pretty sure that the tiger butterfly was actually the first thing I ever donated it to the museum. Mm. So that is, that is cool. Common butterfly, yellow butterfly, and emperor butterfly. Emperor butterflies may not be that, may have not have been that notable uh, in the very old episode, but just recently we were trying to get a model of them and they were very annoying. Yeah, they used to call them Palpatine butterflies. Yes, they did. Common blue bottle, Agris butterfly, that was La the old Republic. Ladybug, and snail. Thank you for the delightful commentary along this more more sentimental toned episode. I really appreciate it. All right, I can take a hit and fly away with it. Pillbug. Centipede dancing, doing the dance. Yeah, and moth. And over here we have the orchid mantis, and we have the walking stick. And walking leaf. And somewhere around here there is a centipede that is hiding. Is it up here? Like, oh, there's a moth on, on that thing. But somewhere around here I remember there's like a centipede that is just on the wall for some reason. Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Um, is it up here? No. Um, I remember there was a centipede somewhere. Huh. Well. You win some, you lose some. We have the grasshopper, my real life favorite bug, the cricket, and the bell cricket, and the mole cricket. Mole cricket, very annoying when scorpion and tarantula farming. Rice grasshopper, migratory locust, long locust, and ant. You can see the ants are making a mad dash for Blathers' tea. Well, I assume that is Blathers' tea, like, it could be anyone else's tea. Well, I'm not drinking it now. They're just going for the sugar cubes. We have the mosquitoes, the fleas, the paper kite butterfly, and the normal fly. Just one more, one more last check. Where is that centipede? I know there's a centipede on the wall. Maybe that's only on the daytime. I think that's only on the daytime. Anyway, over here... We have the wharf roach and the hermit crab. There's a Venus flytrap over here. I've never actually noticed that before. Over here we have the tarantula, one of the my favorite bugs that I ever t t to catch in general. Super fun. And the scorpion. And po po poetically, we're ending it off with the dung beetle, which was the last bug I ever donated before the thing was complete. Anyway, mm, there is only two more exhibits. And the next one, we will be going to after we look at this bug fight between the golden stag and the rainbow stag. Yes, yes, very interesting. Looks like the golden stag won. The rainbow stag, like always, lost <laughs> that rainbow stag, it seems like he always loses. Like, wasn't that a thing in the past episodes? I... Yeah, that was a thing. The rainbow stag always lost in these bug fights. Anyway, the fish exhibit. My favorite out of the four exhibits. Let's take a look at some fishies, shall we? Anyway, we have the a little fish tank with all the little fish. We have the killifish. 
They li- he likes to kill the other fish. I'm just kidding. Well, he does like to kill the other fish, but according to Blathers, there is a no eating your neighbors policy in the museum. So, like, you know, I might actually make a video in the future of if if the museum was in real life, how many fish casualties there would be. Probably all of them would die, honestly. <laughs> we have the goldfish, the Popeye goldfish, the Ranchu goldfish, and the guppy. And we also have the neon tetra. There are actually six neon tetras. And the betta fish, the nibble fish, the rainbow fish, and the angel fish. Uh, anyway, we are not doing it poetically this time because we have the pun smelt the last fish I ever caught. And we're just doing that now. Close to the beginning of the exhibit. <laughs> and we have the Salmon. We have the King Salmon. And we have the Sturigioan. And the Mitten Crab. And we also have the Horseshoe Crab. This, fi- this exhibit not only has fish, but it also has diving creatures. And we have the Pale Chub. The tilapia, the stringfish, and the day stay send it into space. That's where it will run and it won't win the race. We have the freshwater goby, the yellow perch, the sweet fish, the crucian carp, and up here we have the golden trout, the cherry salmon, and the char. And over here we have some very large fish, including the piranha, who likes to bang on the tank and try to presumably break out of the tank and eat me. Yeah, I don't think your mouth's big enough there, buddy. <laughs> Saddled Bishir and Dorado. And we also have the Arapaima and Arawana. And down here we have the Crawfish, the Giant Snakehead, the Gar, the Pike, and the Snapping Turtle. Over here we have the bluegill, the annoying black bass, the carp, the koi, and the soft-shelled turtle. Over here we have the tadpole, the frog, the bitterling, the loach, and the catfish. Now that that is done, let's go into the uh other room. <laughs> Alright. This is my favorite room in the entire museum. We have all of the big fish in here. We have the Mahi Mahi, the Anchovies, the Blue Marlin, the Tuna, and the Giant Trevally. I'm, I think... Yeah. Of cor- Well... I would consider the giant trevally the rarest fish in the game. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one that took me the longest to catch. We have the whale shark, the sucker fish, the horse mackerel, uh, the ocean sunfish, and the great white shark. I always find it amusing that the horse mackerel is in it is in the same tank with all the super rare fish. All right, down here we have some cool diving equipment. And the vampire squid, the giant isopod, the rarest diving creature in the game, the sea pig, and the Venus flower basket. And over here, we have the barrel eye, the oarfish, the football fish, and the coelacanth. And, oops, I pressed, this, <laughs> I pressed the same sign. Over here we have the snow crab, the last diving creature I ever caught, the spider crab, the firefly squid, and the chambered nautilus. Man. So cool to actually, actually have a complete museum. Like, I've played these, I've played these Animal Crossing games. Like, Animal Crossing City Folk was the first ever video game I ever played. I've been, like, and I'm pretty sure I played it when I was, like, four years old. I've been playing these games since I was, like, four years old. And I finally completed my favorite aspect in the game. Man, 
And this has been like a more than three year journey to complete this museum. Mainly because of the artwork. Like, if it wasn't for the artwork, I would have gotten this museum done in less than a year. But no, the artwork had to happen. <laughs> anyway, we got the moon jellyfish. And over here we have the scallop, the red king crab, the sea urchin, the whelk, the sweet shrimp, and the sea butterfly. And up here we have a tank full of coral, and also an umbrella octopus, a tiger prawn, a sea anemone, a sea slug, and some mussels. And we have the clownfish, the surgeon fish, the butterfly fish, the rainbow eel, I mean ribbon eel, sorry, and the Napoleon fish. And the spotted garden eel, the sea cucumber, the spiny lobster, the mantis shrimp, and the slate pencil urchin. And we have the sea grapes, the flatworm. I think the flatworm is my favorite. Uh, diving creature. I don't know why. I just, I just really like the flatworm, the poil oyster, the gigas giant clam, and the lobster. And you can see some of the fish from up here. You can see a sea bass, a red snapper, another sea bass, and a moray eel. That's cool. I wish we could get a three sixty angle of this room instead of just being able to see it from this one angle. As you can see, you can walk through this fish tank and have a nice little sit down. Oh, I never noticed the camera actually moves for when you sit down. I've, I don't think I've ever sit down on this bench. <sighs> ah. Anyway, over here we have the seaweed and all of the other creatures in this tank like to smoke the seaweed. And we have also have the Acorn Barnacle, <laughs> the Sea Star, the Turban Shell, and the Abalone. And we have the Seahorse, the Blowfish, the Pufferfish, and the Hammerhead Shark. And we also have the Squid, the Mora Eel, the Ray, and the Red Snapper, the Dab, the Saw Shark, and the Olive Flounder. And we also have the Dungeness Crab, the Sea Pineapple, the Gazami Crab, the Octopus, which was actually the first ever diving creature I ever caught, and the Oyster. And speaking of first ever creatures we ever caught, we have the Red Snapper, and the, and the Dab. Wait, wait, I, I chose the wrong sign. <laughs> wait, <laughs> sorry about that, I chose the wrong sign. Zebra Turkey Fish hard knife jaw, and the sea bass, which was the first ever fish I ever caught. So I guess we could have, we still kind of edited it, ended it poetically there, with ending off with the first fish I ever caught there. And of course it had to be the stupid sea bass. That's the only sea bass I don't actually hate. Because, you know, like he's the, he's the first fish I ever caught. I don't, I don't really hate him because, you know, he's the first fish I ever caught. <laughs> Anyway, there's only one more exhibit left. The one that was just completed today. We have the art exhibit. And I will not be stating the names of all of these because, like, you have to, like, all of them have this big, long dialogue, and I don't feel like reading all of them now. <laughs> but we have a bunch of statues. They're cool. Usually I'd censor out this this one, but you know what? It's a special occasion. We're not we're not we're not gonna censor out the this. We're in fact we're gonna zoom in on him. Wow. Look at that. That's the museum's publicity shot, that is. <laughs> anyway, we have the it is thinker. art, my friend. Art. <laughs> the the thinker. All of these sorts of paintings and other things. We have the big bathtub and all the little stone figures like to 
take baths in the bathtub, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. We have this one. Uh, very nice. We have this jolly painting, which is really cool. Which was the first artwork I ever donated. I also have the, like, the Mona Lisa. Who's ever heard of the Mona Lisa? <laughs> Actually, it's called the famous painting. <laughs> right. But there is... There is one very special piece of artwork that I want to mention. And that is, of course, this one. This one right there. Let's get a good, let's get a good view of it. I think that's enough viewing for now. <sighs> anyway, let's read some stuff about it. Proper painting, June 23rd, 2023, donated by... Models. No, sorry, Jack. <laughs> no! <laughs> a bar at the Folies Berger. Edouard Manet, circa 1882, oil on canvas. Close inspection of the mirror behind this painting subject reveals many mysteries and paradoxes. In fact, the painting is based on multiple perspectives, which explains the unusual placement of some items. Sadly, this is Manet's last major work. He passed away a year after it was complete, at age 51. Oh, that's sad. It's sad because I've now read my last piece of artwork information. Right. Before we end this here episode, I want to, uh... Uh do a bit of a montage of the first fish I've ever caught, the first bug I've ever caught, the first diving creature I've ever caught, the first fossil I ever donated, and the first artwork I donated, and the same thing with the last ones. And without further ado, here's the first bug I ever caught. Come on. Yeah, it's still here, and we got a stick. Oops. Come on. Wait, I'm pretty sure. If my, it, I'm pretty sure you can just tap the tree. Oh, come on! Oh, never mind. I'll just. Yeah, caught it. <laughs> my first ever bug is a bagworm. Yes, I caught a bagworm. I guess I'm a bagworm. This was before I. Uh learned how to do this thing called reading, and I thought it said, I caught a bagworm, I guess I'm a bagworm instead of bragworm. Or no, I think I, I, that's more of me just not noticing there was an R there. Anyway, here's the last bug. <gasps> There's one. You see it? It's pushing the snowball. There it is, the snow bug. There it is, my last bug. Of them all. Oh. Come on, no! <laughs> yes, there we go! Every bug ever in Animal Crossing New Horizons has been caught by me. Very cool indeed. Here is the first fossil. Woo! Wow. Oh, is this our first fossil? Yeah, I dug up my very first fossil. And, of course, here is the last fossil. Let's assess the fossils. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all up in the Okay. Okay, Ooh, what is more it? more than one I see. Let's take a close look, shall we? Oh, hooray! I found something that is not yet part of our esteemed collection! We've done it! We've completed the fossil exhibit! Woohoo! Here is the first fish. Wait, was that another fish? Yeah, it's another fish. What's it gonna be? What's my first ever fish gonna be? It's probably gonna be a sea bass. Yes, I caught it. What is it? 
Yep. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I caught a sea bass. No, wait. It's at least a C plus. Wait, what? <laughs> Stupid sea bass. <laughs> and here's the last fish. Anyway, moment of truth. Is this my last fish? This is it. The last fish. Yes! That is it. The very last fish. Yes! Look at it. It is so cool! Yeah, thank you! Thank you! Here is the first diving creature. Oh, it looks like there's some bubbles. That means, like, there's uh, something underwater. So, uh, let's grab it. Oh, it's going fast. Um, what is it? Oh! Whoa! This is an octopus! Okay, so, like, our first thing was an octopus. That's, that's cool. And, of course, here is the last diving creature. Oh yeah. Hey, 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 you two, look. <gasps> what is it? What I the caught, heck is that? I caught the last Put it thing. back, put it back, it's No, scary. don't you dare. Anyway, I mean, I just tried to be casual. I was trying to distract you two, so you just look up and I saw it. Anyway, yeah, there we go. The entire Critterpedia is done. Here is the first painting. For only 4,980 bells, you'll be the proud owner of your very own jolly painting. That sounds more reasonable. Reasonable. Sold. Ha! You are not gonna regret this. I'll just take those bells from you. I knew you had an eye for art. It's like it was meant to be. I hope we can do this again, cousin. And finally, here is the last painting. I would like to know to donate this proper painting. Hmm, who? I say hoot. That is most surely a proper painting. It is indeed. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is. Very much a proper painting. Proper painting, one of the only paintings that does not have any fake articles. Procure the proper painting promptly. Promise. Don't know why I showed you that clip. You've already seen it this episode. Anyway, that is where the episode shall end. Man, let's see. So it took me three years. Like, like, June is like, wait, no, Jul Jul July 1st, isn't that like the halfway point of the year, I think? So, it took me less than three and a half years! Oh, I'm so good. 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 Anyway. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we're gonna do some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> and if you've uh, stuck with me long enough to actually see me complete the, uh, the, complete the museum and if you've stuck along long enough since I donated my first thing to when I donated my last thing, then thank you. It really means a lot to me. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Good, give you goodbye. You good, give you good boss? Hey awesome viewers, thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe, it would really help the channel out. Keep me in awesome. Do you want to see fish in miserably cramped aquariums? Do you want to see bugs brutally fight each other to the death? Do you want the finest brewed coffee? Then come to 
the Jacktown Museum. Now, featuring 100% less emptiness. In our fine museum, you can learn about the complex anatomy of the prehistoric cucumber. And while we're on the subject of cucumbers, please also check out our... Wait! No, 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 no. The sea cucumber, of course. The sea cucumber. Plenty of fun to be had and knowledge to be gained at the Jacktown Museum.